And we immediately start with the child and a plant. Of course we do. Who is this? Buttercup. Okay, for once we're switching up infants. Uh, Buttercup's getting traumatized for once. Good, good to know. Uh, um, uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today, we are back to playing The Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. A lot of things happened last episode, including um, engagements and breakups and more engagements. And um, apparently a child getting stuck in a bush, <laughs> which I didn't realize. And our cow plant dying, so that means we're going to have to find another cow plant. This is probably just going to become a cow plant graveyard. So it looks like it's um, a bit of an Oasis Springs trip today. Maybe look into how um maybe look into starting the wedding planning because i know that's going to be a big thing coming up um i swear i had more of these down but apparently not oh south soother i don't know who it is also the twins toddlers whatever wait okay here it is Sh uh, should be aging up in like three days um, she's taking that. Oh, we can upload or uh, involve another plant and this one. How nice. Oh, I know what it is. All of our plants got yeeted when I kind of sort of, uh, re-put down the house. Yeah, this should be showing up because it's residential. Resi residential. My bad. Wedding venue. Actually, also convenial. We, we've got to have some good traits here. Romantic aura. Not a singles hangout. No, no. Well, weddings are singles hangouts. Like, let's be for real about that. But no. Um, a sunny aspect. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that that's fixable. But since we're here, this is the little wedding venue I got off the gallery. Here we go. Okay, so this is the little wedding venue I used. And it's by Octobinks. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if that's not it. Um, but I used... This is really loud in my ear. That's the wedding venue I use. There's a nice little bar space. This little aisle here. I did change the arch to CC. I added this little aisle of puddles. Um, let's see. I also added this sign right here because I thought it was necessary. I, I just can't help myself. Um, I did nothing to the upstairs. But I did replace the table that was here with these two tables. It's kind of pink, which, you know, isn't Daisy's vibe for obvious reasons. But, I mean, hey. Oh, I could do toasts and speeches, I guess. I could. The option is there. I don't want to, however, so that's not gonna happen, but I did uh, add this. So yeah, okay, I'm actually gonna pause this real fast. Okay, this is my baby. This is my baby who I love. He has been with me for like 10 years now. The most adorable little one ever. The most adorable. But, but, sorry, I'm shaking this. Um, I, we've been thinking about getting another kitten. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're able to do that sometime soon. We put in an adoption application for a, a little kitty cat. Um, she's the, the most, I don't know, she has just this energy. She's a little menace. I love little menaces. Um, her, her name's Violet. We're, we're really crossing our fingers here that this is something we can pull off. If not, we know other people who have kittens. Um, they're younger, so we might do that anyways. Just simply um because we just really want a small little baby but violet she's going to be a small cat in general she's the tiniest little face um so I, i'm really hoping that we can get um her because of i i don't know it would just it'd be great for my mental health i guess i don't i'm a cat person it's fine anyways um back to this every time every time they're on the floor sims team fix this glitch Every time I load back into a household with infants, they're on the floor next to their cribs or like right there. Like, EA, what is wrong with you? Unplayable game. Okay, but I'm still playing it. Now ask your bestie to be the sum of honor at your wedding. What? 
She said no. Whatever. I really don't care at this point. Go away. Stalker. Why? Go away. Go. Talk about relationship fears. Yes. Okay, it's under romance. That's why. Okay, she's having an honest conversation. Telling him, I do not feel secure in this after you essentially cheated on me. He's just reassuring her, I love you. You're amazing. There's nothing you could do that could make me not want you. So they're learning about that fear progress. She's made some progress with opening up. Um, they both have upped their satisfaction. They're both still neutrally attracted to each other, but they're both very satisfied with the relationship. And sometimes you're not always going to be attracted to your partner. Y you don't need attraction to be in a relationship. I mean, it would be nice to have, but you don't need it. As long as like their relationship parts are full as long as something like that is what's going on i don't think the attraction necessarily needs to be there because you're attracted to each other more mentally let's do it nice it's adorable actually okay and i think now that we've seen that little interaction we're actually going to purchase a wedding cake i'm gonna actually purchase two wedding cakes just in case because it just never ends well let's plan our formal outfits for this wedding i'm gonna save real quick <laughs> learned that lesson so we've got her main little outfit here but that is gonna change we're, we're gonna take off formal because for some odd reason some of the outfits like don't like to show up otherwise i mean we have a plain white version of this but i do not think that is the vibe this one's really cute but i just don't think it's her oh wow hey taylor swift ears tour vibes wow she looks so good in that dress though but i'm not getting wedding dress vibes from it okay it looks like this is going to be the official wedding dress wow look at her so silly so i say we do it today which wasn't the plan but i say we do it anyways what is cecilia wearing and juliet what where did they get all these wacky outfits from may i ask yeah let's just do these people um we could have toasts but i'm choosing not to at uh three so that way we have some time to do everything we need to do it's gonna be a late night wedding don't really care yay uh okay actually so a calm infant i think could be angelic that's a toddler what is he doing You've got five minutes to age up, girly. Wiggly, I think, could be seen as either silly or independent or wi wild. Let's say. So, we have little Clover. At least I'm thinking this is Clover. If it's not, oh well, she's adorable. These are all of her outfits. Okay, and then we have little, um, what's her name? Buttercup over here also really adorable with all of her outfits love her okay she's walking down the aisle with confidence and then almost falls um we are going to walk down the aisle as well um apparently we were teaching our toddler skills though what where are you going weddings are still so broken she's walking down with confidence good probably because she's been clumsy her whole life why don't we exchange vows and kiss now please before she leaves herself on her wedding day oh look at them oh so cute it's also a rainbow cake oh look at them oh i'm gonna have to rearrange that maintain sim rename sim this one is buttercup and this one right here is Clo no this one's buttercup no this one's clover but i think i'm gonna switch their names oh i don't know which one's which we're just gonna say you are buttercup and you my friend are now clover we almost missed the first dance renaming our children clover and buttercup how nice oh and they got two seconds 
of the last dance or first dance. Quite the wedding. Glad that nightmare is over. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Sims in Bloom content. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell to never miss one of my uploads. Bye, see you in the next one.